Okay, um, had kind of a crazy idea. I want to build a rail cart or a rail speeder. And so I was looking and looking and looking, and it was the uh, Labor Day sale over at Harbor Freight. And I thought, hmm, all right. These things are made out of one inch tubing. It's rated for like 800 pounds, right? They're pretty, pretty stout. So I thought, well, these kind of almost have a frame and if you kind of weld four of them together or bolt four of four of them together you kind of have something the size of a rail cart and if you add a 99 dollars special predator engine i'm going to be putting a um just a v like a uh, v band uh belt type pulley clutch mechanism on this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it go to this tire and I'm going to cut a groove in this tire for it to accept that belt. And I'm going to go through here with angle iron basically on the underside everywhere where there is this cross bracing underneath. I'm going to go and I'm actually going to bolt this together because I measured the track and the track is right about edge to edge on the outside was about 61 inches, I believe. So I have this set up in just about 61 inches apart. So I figured if I have some angle iron and I just kind of bolt it together like that, um, that'll give me a good structure. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this here and cut this right about here. Or, well, right about here, actually. And I'm going to either put uh, another, a, so this has an OD of just a hair over one inch. Um, actually, I just measured that here. To be truthful, I think I was more excited about the $9 digital calipers they had, to be honest with you. Man, that was a deal. So, yeah, it's just a hair over one inch OD on the tube. So I figure when I cut this off, you know, here, and I either get maybe a one inch or just under an inch piece of rebar to put like as a connecting piece. So I either put something inside and then to the inside of that and maybe pin it together somehow, or I take another tube with an ID of just over one inch, like a maybe a piece of plumbing pipe, like a piece of cast iron pipe, uh, slip it over the top here and then bolt the two together. So, um, let me see if I can arrange this here. It would basically come to something like this. So, if you can picture what that would look like. Um, I don't know why this doesn't wanna focus. Anyway, if I cut off the top hoops and put a piece of pipe as a sleeve to connect the two and bolt them together along with these pieces of angle iron connecting all of these uh, like ribs together. And then I'll put some wood on top. Um, I figure that's a rail speeder and I can take it apart that way because I can just unbolt everything. So this is the raw material I got. Um, I think the four carts ran me about $170. The motor was $100. These um, pieces of angle iron were about 8 bucks a piece at Home Depot. I bought a bunch of quarter 20 fasteners, some 2 inch long bolts. Um, I think that ran me probably about another $25 or so. So call it 180 280 300 I don't know maybe 350 bucks hopefully maybe or at least let's say under 400 bucks I should be able to get this going for ballpark 400 bucks if I'm lucky see ya